another question of finding ratio we got again here uh, question saying find the ratio in which the point minus 3p divides the line segment joining the points minus 5 uh, comma minus 4 and minus 2 comma minus 3 hence find the value of p so we need to find out the value of this p okay so how to find out uh, before that you know we need to trace it into the graph or a kind of rough structure we should know so uh, let me suppose this is my point uh, minus 5 comma 4 let me give the name a and I have another point that is minus 2 comma minus 3 let me give the name B and let me join both of them okay I join this is my point A and B and this is line segment AB now this line segment AB has been divided by minus 3 comma 4 so minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 or somewhere it is right here it is so it is minus 3 P alright this point here let me give the name M okay so this M point is dividing this AB into the two sections right and those sections are you know one a M section alright and another one is M B sections so it is dividing into the two section and we need to find out how much part is this side and how much part is this side or you can say what ratio we have in the left side in AM and what ratio you have we have in MB so uh, again we need to uh, we need to imagine some ratio so you can do any method you can you can imagine like m1 ratio m2 right m1 ratio m2 you can imagine if you want then you can imagine k ratio 1 whatever you 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 feel easy doing that way k ratio 1 will be a little bit a little bit shorter not that much okay and m1 ratio m2 whatever you want okay so let's 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 do this time by m1 ratio m2 okay I choose by M1 ratio M2 so now let me suppose uh, I don't have to suppose <laughs> now see here so therefore point M what you'll get point M uh, that is minus 3 comma P will get by the section formula and the section formula is actually mm, I'm going to write no problem 1 2 2 1 right M1 X2 plus m2 x1 1 2 2 1 divided by m1 plus m2 similarly for the y coordinate right 1 2 2 1 I mean m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 this is our coordinate let's put the value of m1 uh, sorry x2 and x1 everywhere so we'll be getting here now if we put the value m1 times in the place of x2 now again i'm telling which one will be x1 and which one will be x2 so you should be clear which one is closer to m1 that will be x1 and y1 and which is far which is closer to m2 this will be x2 and y2 so now x2 what is my x2 yes minus 2 is my x2 so here minus 2 plus now what is my m2 I don't know that I need to find out this is my m2 let me write properly m2 times now x1 x1 is my minus 5 all right so minus 5 and then whole divided by m1 plus m2 and a comma m1 ratio uh, m1 times y2 so what is my m1 m1 is here m1 and my y2 so y2 is my here minus 3 so minus 3 plus again m2 i do have right times y1 so y1 is my 4 so i'm putting here 4 and then divided by m1 plus m2 uh, let me write it properly it will be minus 2 m1 plus sorry it will be now minus 5 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 and again here you'll get minus 3 m1 plus 4 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 and this is my point actually minus 3 comma p so you know we got a trick friend and what is the trick well you know that you got it it's minus 3 and this you know this x coordinate and this is also x coordinate we know the minus 3 then we can easily find out m1 ratio m2 and once we get m1 ratio m2 then we'll be putting here value of m1 and m2 and you'll get the point 
P. Yes. So, equating the coordinate, right? Equating the coordinate of X, we'll get now minus 3 will be actually equals to this part, this whole part, right? So, that is minus 2M1 minus 5M2 divided by M1 plus M2. Let's solve it fast, fast, fast. Okay. So, now minus 3M1 minus 3M1 minus 3m2 minus 2m1 minus 5m2 so this is minus 3m1 and this is minus 2m1 so this minus 2m1 let me put uh, left side so it will be minus 3m1 plus 2m1 and here it is minus 5m2 minus 5m2 and this is minus 3m2 so let me put this into the right side you will get 3m2 and now here we are going to get minus m1 is equal with here minus 2m2 it means uh, first 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 minus and minus will cancel out and m1 over m2 is equal with now here 2 uh, over 1 yes so our ratio is m1 over m2 equals to 2 ratio 1 so here it is actually this 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 m1 is 2 you know so what we can say that this m point uh, this is intersecting in the ratio 2 over 1 so now we can easily find out the value of this p right minus 3 p now see in this to find out the value of p what we need we need the m1 and we need m2 we got this right what we have got m1 is actually 2 so minus 3 times 2 and M2 we had got as a 1. So 4 times 1 divided by 2 plus 1 because M1 is 2 and M2 is 1. So minus 6 plus 4 divided by 2. And minus 6 plus 2 that is minus 3. Oh sorry, minus 2. Sorry, and it is it is also not 2, it is 3. Okay. So now it is equals to minus 6 plus 4 that is minus 2 over 3 this is our point so the value of p we got value of p we got is minus 2 over 3 that's it we got the value right so similarly you know you, know, you need to find out the values and uh, i just suggest you just see a couple of more videos see more videos and try to do yourself all right and almost i'll try to finish every type of the problem that is asked in the questions uh, asked in the exams or uh, in, in in kind of test or series you know in any in, in, in anywhere right i will try to do all types of the models it may be late right uh, so i'm i'm sorry for that if it will be late and uh, definitely we'll be meeting the next video all right catch you there goodbye